Hi guys, I'm Leah Ashley and welcome to Design Buzz, the show with an all access pass into the homes and the lives of Hollywood's biggest trendsetters. Let's dive right in and meet Los Angeles based interior designer and my friend Jeffrey Allen Marks who I affectionately call the king of coastal living. And where might we find Jeffrey? His beachside studio of course. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Allen Marks and today we're going to go up and look at my design studio. This room is sort of my lab room of where I come up with my inventions for my new website, Jam Approved. Well, people know that I specialize in beach houses. I love the ocean, I love to be outside. I get most of my inspiration when I'm hiking or in the water. How do I come up with a design? You know, I think it has to be instinctively yours. I think there's an intuition I have about things that I love, but also, you know, the quality and the craftsmanship and the color, it has to be innately me and I, ha and I have to intuitively just feel right about it. Jeffrey's world-renowned work features an array of styles from industrial to modern, but he loves getting back to his roots and infusing his California cool aesthetic in unexpected ways. I think a beach-inspired theme can work anywhere. I don't necessarily think you need to have you know, a sign, you know, beach that way, you know, kind of thing, like, and be a little cute with it. I don't think it needs to be cute. I think it just needs to be calming and serene, and I think that is beachy. And I think it's all about mixing high-low and, and antiques and vintage. I, I think you have to have a natural element in the room. I think you've got to have a living plant in a room. And I also think you need to have just this sense of calm, calm, calm. Let's head over to the East Coast where landscape designers Brian and Kevin Ramsey will show us how with eye-catching pieces and some fun accessories, you can transform your outdoor space into a luxurious, resort-worthy backyard oasis. If you're lucky enough to have a waterfront property, there's several things you want to keep in mind when designing your space. So often you see a lot of blue. Seaside coastal decor does not have to be the cliche anchors and navy blue. I really like to echo the green tones. I just want green. Using nice heavy pots, obviously with the wind, that it's not so top heavy that you're constantly going out there resetting everything. Keeping the cushion neutral so that you can use those pops of color as an accent. You definitely want to tie in warmer tones with uh, wood, things like teak that work for outdoors. I love this table. Chapatone's Vanchetta. It's over four feet long, a little over three feet wide. You put a whole lot of drinks up there. I really think Leah is gonna love this. From creating an outdoor oasis to designing an indoor retreat, we are about to get an exclusive look at actress and design enthusiast Tiffany DuPont's eclectic home, a space that inspires her to relax after long hours on set. So the place I am living now, I fell in love with it when I saw it for a few reasons. It was built in 1925. It was also a blank canvas. I thought, gosh, there's so much I can do. Any kind of creation uh, makes me feel good. So I changed the lights in this house. I built a bench. I built the table over there. I made these bookshelves. Um, so I get to be creative and also manage my stress and do something fun so that when I come home, I feel really good. I can't tell you how many times I've come home and been so grateful that this is my house. And I'm like, God, I, I get to live here. Wow, thank you, life. I love it here. Tiffany is passionate about curating a collection of home decor that is both sentimental and stylish. I try to inspire myself in my home, so there are musical instruments around me, and everyone always says, oh, do you play the guitar? You must be such a great guitarist. I am not a great guitarist. This is why I have them there. I have a degree in music playing the violin, and I love music, so I want to inspire myself to get better at certain things. If I'm at my house, I'm alone, and I don't have anything to do, I literally have no excuse. I've given myself no way out to be a better pianist and guitarist, and now that I've said it on television, I really have to do it, don't I? In her latest role as a compassionate lawyer in the inspirational true story, Brian Banks, Tiffany's character, Alyssa, is dedicated to freeing a wrongly convicted football player. In the movie Brian Banks, I play this incredible person, Alyssa Biracle. She's absolutely a real hero. This woman um, works pro bono to fight to get people who are wrongfully accused exonerated. Myself and Greg Kinnear play these two lawyers that help 
get him acquitted, every single thing in the movie is true, your minds will be blown when you see what this guy went through. Getting to be a part of telling a story that, you know, makes people feel good or makes them feel like they can escape their life, that's all amazing and beautiful and is largely what I do. I stumbled across a script that is going to do those two things, but also, um, we all believe impact society for the better, which to me is the ultimate gift and the ultimate goal. Thank you guys so much for coming over. I love sharing my home with people and that was really, really, really fun. Thank you so much. Ellie, you wanna walk them out? Okay, we're walking you out. Here we go. Woo! Super cute, Tiffany, I love it. And thank you so much. Be sure to catch our friend Tiffany DuPont in the film Brian Banks alongside Morgan Freeman and Greg Kinnear in theaters this August. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'm Leah Ashley and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more design tips, tricks and buzz on the hottest design trends.